Here we have a bottle of water. This is tap water from our house, frozen. And what I'm trying to show is I gave the these whoever this is money for the rent. Got the receipts with me. These long pieces that jut out, like I don't know, like what, but. This place is not safe to live in. If you notice, the water has long, thin, round tubules with little dots on the end. Now, those of us who know about water understand that water has a memory, an emotional memory, also a chemical or atomic memory so that anything that is put in water in a small amount will be amplified in the bond angles of the water and when frozen uh, it should reveal through its crystal wine structure something about uh, the nature of the water the contaminants in the water I know it's difficult to see here but, if you can see, there are long, thin, tubule-like, uh, frozen, I don't know what you call them, uh, extending from the central frozen core uh, of the ice where the quote-unquote air bubbles seem to stay. And the rest of the water appears clear. The only reason I'm pointing this out is because several times under the microscope uh, with water, things dissolved in water, I have seen these long, thin, uh, needle-like structures uh, with little balls on the end. And these have been microscopic, however. Is it possible that such contaminants or organisms are in the water? And that freezing the water gives you a crystalline uh, energetic exemplification or example of what may be in the water. This is just theory and conjecture based on a little bit of science. But as you can see, these long, thin, tubular-like structures with little balls at the end remind me of um, any of the processes that grow carbon or silicon or any other material, nanotubules, which are extremely small and must be viewed under electron microscope, but they look pretty much the same. Long tubules with a small metal cap. Uh, there are also organisms that look like this. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.